the lighting is really bad. Oh, sorry. But I'll insert some pictures and stuff. You guys can't really see it anymore, kind of. But I did like purple lashes and really bright purple under eye. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take off my makeup. I'm gonna show you guys a skincare routine, kind of. This is something I do every day for the most part, ever since I entered esthetician school, aesthetic school, whatever thing I've been doing for the past month since I entered um, aesthetics school, esthetician school. You guys can definitely see my texture, which is right here. It's not really texture, it's like little, um, little bumps you could call them i don't know they're like little blackheads i guess um but i just really haven't took them out because we do facials on each other at school so i kind of just let people at school take it out so yeah anyways because i don't really have a lot of problems with my skin so when i do have these i just kind of leave it so that somebody at school can take them out to my lips and I kind of left my glasses at my grandparents house for a good month and my vision has been a little blurry which it's never really happened to me before but yeah my vision's a little blurry and this is kind of fuzzy so give me one second so I wanted to come on here out and talk to you guys a little bit I know I'm a little bit of everywhere because I really don't I know what I want to say but I don't know how I'm gonna say it but some people have been texting me, like, via Snap, social media, and they asked me, like, what am I going to do with my YouTube, or my YouTube is boring. My YouTube was, I guess you could say it was supposed to be a beauty channel, but when I started the channel, I was 15, 16 maybe, I was very young, I still am young, I'm 19 years old, I just graduated high school um I'm going to school to be an esthetician so makeup is not really my main focus my main goal I do love makeup but it's not something that I'm kind of passionate about anymore and I go through that phase a lot sometimes I'm passionate about makeup and then sometimes I'm not but right now since I am in aesthetic school I esthetician school whatever you guys want to call it I'm going to call it aesthetics SD, whatever. Now that I'm in aesthetic school, I have just been focusing on my skincare, focusing on my life. I'm 19 years old and I have the pressure of getting my life together. Um, a lot of people tell me a lot of different things and just the pressure. I'm gonna, I'm getting a little emotional, but just the pressure of, you know becoming 19 being in a serious relationship and um yeah just being in a relationship being in a serious relationship trying to find my passion while people are shoving down my throat that I need to go to college and I need to do this and I need to do that and just it's just a lot of pressure a lot of goals a lot of things that people want from me they want me to get married they want me to have kids but i'm 19 but i am in a it will be four years for me and eric um august 15th four year anniversary but yeah so back to the question of what this youtube channel is what are you doing with youtube where is it going your youtube channel is kind of everywhere um just things like that 
but honestly, to be honest, I don't know. I really don't know where my channel is going, but I hope that you guys stick with this journey with me. This channel was supposed to be a makeup beauty channel, and then it turned into a more lifestyle kind of channel. Um, I am a Libra. I don't know if that makes a difference for you guys, but I can't make up my mind on what I want to do or a decision at all. So, I don't know if that helps you. But yeah, I dabble in a little bit of everything. I do arts and crafts. I do vlogs. I do makeup. Um, I'm doing aesthetics. That's going to be my job. But yeah, so please, if you guys want, continue this journey with me of life. My life is a little chaotic and so is my YouTube. And I'm really sorry that some people can't understand that. I'm not a simple person. I don't just do one thing and stick to that one thing i have one idea an idea and then it branches into many different things and i just want to accomplish all those things so that's what it is about youtube i started vlogging and then i enjoyed it a lot and i wanted to show you guys my life i love vlogging i love sitting here and talking to you guys you guys are like my friends i know that's kind of a little weird to say because I'm just talking to the same 20 people that watch my videos, but you guys are like my friends. I talk to you guys about me and what I deal with and what I go through. I mean, it's not totally in depth, but it's some things that people can relate to. So what I wanted to say was just bear with me. Um, I know my channel is a little bit everywhere and I'm a little bit all over the place, but you guys have to understand I'm 19 years old. I'm juggling school now. I'm juggling a job, I'm juggling my four-year relationship, and I'm juggling relationships between my family and my family, my close people that are around me, and I struggle with that a lot because when I was growing up, I just felt alone and I felt like I was the black sheep of the family, and I know that's probably hard for people to hear. But it is my feelings. I'm entitled to my feelings. You cannot change my feelings and the way that I feel. They're my feelings. And you don't have to understand them. You don't have to accept them. But you need to respect them. I just wanted to say that for anybody that is my family that is watching. I just felt alone. I never really felt fit in with anybody. With the adults, with the kids, with anybody so i would make youtube videos like this and i would talk to you guys i would never upload them because i was kind of scared i did upload a video before um i do have some videos on youtube but maybe i could react to those but um the backlash that i got for it at school the way people would make fun of my voice and the way that i am and just it just broke me down i've been juggling a lot of things a lot of relationships um a lot of things have happened in my life in the past four years that me and Eric are, have been together and it's kind of crazy because he's still with me so that's what gives me faith as that's what keeps me going gives me faith to know that I'm not crazy to know that me struggling with relationships outside whether that be friendships or relationships with family it um it's something that takes a toll on me. I'm getting a little emotional, but my videos are a little bit chaotic. They're a little bit crazy. I do makeup. I do vlogs. I do crafts. I do whatever I want because this is my channel. So if you guys do enjoy my videos, please keep on watching the rest of the vlog. But I just wanted to give you guys that brief explanation and kind of show you guys or tell you guys what I'm kind of dealing with. Um, I do try to put out the best content I can. I am trying to edit the best that I can. Try to put in little effects here and there. Do little montages and things. But um, yeah, so this little rant is 15 minutes. So we'll see how much of it I put in. Hi everyone, good morning. What time is it? 6.55. Hi y'all. It's 7 o'clock. And we're about to go eat Crackle Pro now. Look at my freaking face. Look at it. He thought it was a piercing. That's how bad it is. That's just cute. But look, it's red. Like, it's not even, doesn't even have pus in it. Doesn't even have anything. When we go home, I'm going to um try to pop it. Good morning. So this is what we got. 
I got a country fried steak with scrambled eggs and hash brown casserole. And we got complimentary biscuit and gravy, two grits. We got steak with eggs and two hash brown casserole. Don't pour it all over. Put it right here. Oh, of course. Rude ass. Somebody describe A1. I don't know how to describe it. Because it is not A1. I've had A1 sauce. Have you really? Yeah, the bottle costs like 300 bucks. That's not A1 sauce. Yummy. Hi everyone, so I finished getting ready. This is what I look like. I have on a long black dress with some sandals. I did have heels on, but he's wearing sneakers, so I just decided to change into my sandals. This is what he looks like. It's gonna rain outside. I will show you guys the outside, but it even if it's not gonna rain, it's still humid and disgusting like outside. But yeah, this is my makeup. We're at Sushi Soho. That's the name of it. So this is our sashimi appetizer. Fitness hell. And then what else did you get? Fried calamari. Fried calamari with, what is that babe? Egg roll sauce. Oh, Thai chili sauce. Okay, I don't know. I don't. Can we just wait for soy sauce and stuff to come? Yeah, but he has to bring us. No, baby. He said he's gonna bring us little cups. Is it good? Overfried. Overfried. What do you expect? That's all you can eat. They don't, they don't spend their time just to make it for you. There's other people that want it too. Okay, so we got yellowtail. Well, it's called like jalapeno yellowtail. You want to taste test for us? Spicy mayo. Of course, he always has to have that. It kills the fishy flavor. Is it focusing? Oh, there you go. Oh, there's bad lighting in this restaurant. Oh, well. It's not the end of the world. Is it yummy? How does it taste? Tell us. Okay, he's the worst. Alright. That ginger messed it up. Okay, so we got our, our rolls. And our hand rolls. We always get hand rolls. I'm so ready to eat. I'm so hungry. So he ordered a crab dynamite roll. This is California normal crab. And then we got two more um, spicy salmon handles. Those are my favorite.